Hello, hello! Welcome back to Red Ted Art. We're making some yarn wrapped cloud mobiles today. Whether you want to add some little faces, if you want rainbows, or if you want pom poms, take a look and see how we made this adorable yarn mobile today. So, to make our yarn wrapped um, cloud mobile, you will need some cardboard maybe some paint, um, ours happen to be white and brown on one side, but you can put, wait, use white paint or you can leave it brown. I think that would look really nice as well. You have a contrast. Odds and ends of wool. I'm gonna be using uh, white for the cloud, but you could use blue for the cloud. Um, and then you can either have uh, pom-poms or we're gonna also have a go to a rainbow um, sort of dripping from the uh, cloud. As per usual, it's about working with what you've got. Now, if you're going to do a pom pom one, a pom pom maker is also helpful, but I've also got a video linked down below how you make your own pom pom maker. The first thing we want to do though is prepare our cloud. Now, I've got one here, I just drew this freehand, so um, you know you can just sketch it out. It doesn't really matter too much how you draw it, but I'm going to do like a bobble and then a, another bobble, another one. Kind of think of those as circles. You could always use a tin, maybe use that as a as a guide. Um, and just, you know, don't worry about it too much. If you look at this one, you can see that I did two lots. Doesn't matter, it's all good. See that I quite like that as a size, yep, it's a good size. And then cut it out. Now cardboard's quite stiff, so you may find it easier to cut off sections. Check that you're happy. I think that looks quite good. And then you'll need to cut some little slits which will help you secure the wool or the yarn into it. So I'm just gonna put some little slits, not too many, not too deep. You can actually make them even smaller than that. You just need a little bit to catch the wool and allow the, it to make it easier for wrapping. Choose the colors that you prefer. Um, you can have a blue cloud, you can have a gray cloud. I'm gonna just basically stick it into one of these slits, find another one on the other side, maybe tie them up a little bit, make a little knot. So you've got this and then just start wrapping. Now the question really is do you want the white side or the brown side? It's totally up to you. You can wrap as much or as little as you like. You can have it totally covered in wool or you can just have some little bits. So it depends a little bit on how much wool you've got, um, on the concentration span of the child you're working with. But, you know, you can just basically just have fun. <laughs> so here we go, we've got two done. My daughter did this one, I did this one. Um, I think both sides look really nice. If you need to just cut some extra little slits to help you along the way, it's totally up to you um, and what you, you find easier. Now to finish off, um, I've just left these little strands here to show you. If you if you need to switch wool because you're running low, just, just knot it on and then um, basically we'll trim these little edges off so you know you don't notice them so much. And then I've just taken the end piece and I'm just knotting it on its, against itself to another piece of wool. And you can either um, trim them or you can take your scissors and just push them underneath so you can't see the little bits sticking out. I think I might just, just push it underneath. The reason why I like pushing it underneath is because it means um, it won't accidentally come undone and it doesn't matter too much. Okay, now time to make your rain. So the first one I'm gonna do is the pom-pom version. So I made some pom-poms already, but we're gonna also make one um, as part of this video. So I'm gonna do five pom-poms in total. So I want to hang one like, like this, like this, like this, and then another one in the middle there. So to make a pom-pom, I'm going to use a pom pom maker. As mentioned, there will be a link in the description down below where you can look at how to make your own pom pom um, maker. So if you don't have to, if you don't have one, that's fine. You can use your fingers. You can use a fork. Lots of different ways of doing it. But with the pom pom maker, you open one half up, you line your your thread up, and you just keep wrapping. 
I think it's about this full and snap it shut. Open the other side. Take your scissors, little sharp ones are best for this. Cut it open, but hold it tight so it doesn't open up. Then you take a bit of string, you carefully wrap it around, and then you oop, <laughs> take it and knot it. Pull it tight and do it again. Keep one length long because you're going to use that, and the other one short. Open up, open up pull apart and there you have your pom-pom. Now personally all you have to do that I prefer is to give up that end bit a little trim. So you take that. If you want you can trim a little bit of the straggly bits but you really don't have to. It's up to you. And there you have your pom-pom. Now, the main thing you need to do next is just decide how far you want these to hang down. So I'm gonna push that up a little bit or maybe a bit sideways and you can see it. Make some space and have a look what you think is a good length. I'm gonna sort of do mine in, in shades, but you can mix it up. You don't have to have them all in the order. And I'm gonna very, very simply just take my scissors and tuck it under one of these strands and then tie it on. So I'm no gluing. Could even just do a little knot and another little knot. And just trim and then repeat with the other four so now they're all uh, tied on I just want to add one more detail you don't have to add this I totally think it's up to you whether you fancy it I'm gonna put a little face onto my um, uh, cloud and I'm just gonna take a little bit of black a bit fiddly but it will work <laughs> black a little bit of black wool for the mouth I have some large googly eyes if you don't have googly eyes you could cut some out of paper or some out of felt get the glue off my fingers isn't that adorable <laughs> so cute so I also mentioned that I wanted to do a rainbow one so I've got my rainbow yarn this is going to be slightly different so the the rainbow one you won't be able to reverse in the same way that you can reverse the um, uh, what's it called <laughs> the uh, pom-pom one what you're going to do is you take lengths of yarn you can have it however long you want you can have it going shorter you can have it the same length all the way along but do a double piece this is probably about um, 60 centimeters so two rulers worth you need a piece of cardboard you take the loop push it through and tighten it and you basically re go along the whole stretch of this let's do another one and um it, you know and then change the colors as you go along to kind of reflect the rainbow and then at the very end we're going to come back and you can trim it to make sure it's all the right length so take the loop, place it behind, push the two ends through and pull down and make sure it's nice and aligned. You can probably do three or four of each color, but we'll see how we get on. So I ended up doing four of each color. You can loosen it a little bit just so that they um, spread out a bit or you can add five. You know, it's really just a question of your own personal preference and what you like. 
and then let's have a look what it looks like. Oh, I think that's perfect. They actually got a bit shorter as we went along, so um, I might just trim the red ones a little bit, but I don't think they have to be all the same size, um, but if they're roughly the same size, that is good. And also, if you want, you could, for example, have it um, going at a diagonal. So it's totally up to you, just have a little play. And then the last thing, so you need to decide, is, are you gonna have a cloud that goes this way around? Or are you gonna have a cloud that goes this way around? Against the brown background, you can't see so well, but I think both sides would look really good. I'm gonna use a white one, because that's what my daughter asked for. And then all we do is add lots of glue, PVA glue or um, hot glue gun to the top. And then we let that squish it, squish the cloud on top. Or to be honest, you could actually um, tie some um, strings and then have it hanging. That would work quite well, actually. Sometimes I do make it up as I go along, don't I? But I'm just gonna, on this occasion, glue it on. So if you don't wanna use glue, that's fine. You can tie it on with some string. So you could use um, some uh, white thread and just tie it to the back, but glue works in this occasion too. I do make things up as I go along, don't I? And look at that, doesn't that look adorable? The last things I'm gonna do on both of them is I'm gonna find wherever the, um, the center point is, because I want this to hang straight, so wherever the center of gravity is, and I'm gonna start fiddling, and I'm just gonna weave a little bit of thread through the top so that I can hang them up super neat. And then we'll have a, a look from the beginning of the video, you can see again what they look like hanging up. Anyway, back to the end of this video. We've got our two rain clouds, one with pom-poms, one with rainbows. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Above all, keep watching, keep making, and I'd love to hear you, see you here again soon. Take care, bye. One final uh, look, just so you can see the back and see how it still looks cute with the brown. Um, I think the clouds look really good when you have that contrast because it is a rain cloud after all, and sometimes they are a little bit darker. So really just experiment with what you've got. Use paint if you need to. If you've got white, then use white or just work and, you know, make it your own. Just make it special. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.